Hello friends, I'm Akhilesh Kumar Shivastop and we are doing the coding of the hashing. On the last one, we have discussed about the programming of the division hash. And in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the programming of the uh, mid square method. So what does the mid square method suggest? Let's say we have a key K, then you square this key. And let's say after squaring, you get these numbers. So this is the random number that I'm picking. So let's say the key is of uh, four keys, key is of five digits. Then you will get the number of the 10 digits probably or the nine digit. So let's say we are obtaining the number of the 10 digits. So you have a key of five digits. And we, when you square this key, you obtain the number that is of 10 digit. So 10 digit will be the worst case, but you can get the number in the nine digit also if the number is a small, but you will not get any number which is less than nine digits. So let's say we have, this is the 10 digit number with you. And let's say the table size is hundred. So if the table size is hundred, you require the indexes or you require the addresses of two digits. Why the two digits? This was discussed in the last example also or the last video, but we are taking here also, let's say the table size is hundred. So the first index will be zero and the last index will be 99. It means that you require a two digit index for this. Fine. So you have a 10 digit number and you require two digits from this as an address. So mid square myth method suggests that you discard four digits from the right. You discard four digits from the left and whatever is left in between that is the answer for the mid square method it means if you square this number by the mid square method 58 is the location of this number in the hash tuple we can take another example for example let's say we have the number 98236 then if you make the square of this let's use make use of the calculator So 98236 is the number and when you multiply 98236 with this, you get the numbers 96503111696 and this number is actually 10 digit long. So in this 10 digit long number, you require two digits at the address. So for finding out the two digit of the address, you discard four digits from the right, and then you pick these digits. This is your answer. Or you can say that you discard four digits from the right and four digits from the left, and whatever is left in between is your answer. Or this is the location where you can store this element in the hash table. Now, if you take a smaller number, for example, you have two, three, four, nine, one. When you will square this, you will get a nine digit number. You can once again test it. Let's take a calculator. So two, three, four, nine, one is the number. When you multiply this number with itself, you get the number five, five, one, eight, two, seven, zero, eight, one. And this is a nine digit number. So we cannot make it a generalization that we are going to uh, extract the similar number of the digit from the left and the similar number of digit from the right because in the case in this case we are obtaining only nine digit number. So what we make a rule that whatever square we are getting we are going to discard four digits from the right and then we we are left with for example we had a number nine six five zero. 311696. So you discard four digits. And after this, you take two digits from here. So how can you perform the divisions or how can you discard the last four digits? You can discard last four digits by dividing this number by 10,000. So if you take the number k square and you divide this number with 10,000, then last four digits will be discarded by its own. 
and then whatever is remaining let's say this number is x which is remaining and you take the modulus of this with 100 you will get the last two digits so this is the location of this number in the hash table so i'm going to generalize this and uh, i already have written a function for this i will try to explain you the logic with the help of that function now let's move to the mid square function fine so in the mid square function the table size and the number n is given we will try to find out how many digits of the address we require so let's say the size of the table is 100 if you subtract one from this this is 99 and 99 has two digits or 99 is two digits long so it means we require the address of two digits similarly if the table size is 1000 if you subtract one from this you will be, you will get 999 there are three digits in this number it means every address you require is of three digits in this case so that is why we have called a digit sum function and counted the number of digits in table size minus one let's say d is representing a variable which has the count of the digits for the address what you require in the hash table and then you are trying to perform the count of the digits in the number n given it means the key given so l is the total number of digits in the L is the total number of digits in the number given to you. Here we already have seen that if the number is n digit long, then it's twice or uh, sorry, its square will be 12 digits long to the maximum. Fine. Now let's say we are taking an example of this where we had five digit long number. And when you squared the five digit long number, you have obtained a 10 digit long number. And from 10, you subtract two which is the number of digits that you require for the address and you remain with eight out of eight, you're going to extract four digits from the right. So how do you obtain this four number? L was the count of the digits in the original number. Two into L is the total number of digits in the K square. And then you subtract the number of digits required for the address. You divide this with two so whatever is the answer these are the number of the digits that you want to extract from the right in this case when we had a five digit number when you take we have taken two into five then minus two this is eight divided by two that means four digits are to be extracted from the right side why we are dividing it from the two because half of the digits or the half of these digits have to be discarded from the right and then rest of the digits have to be discarded from the left. It means that out of eight digits, four digits are to be extracted from the right and four digits from the left. So we already have obtained how many digits are to be extracted. So let's say four digits are to be extracted. It means that e is the value of e is four. Then we will take or we will divide this with the 10 raised to the power four. It means 10 raised to the power e because of which we have calculated 10 raised to the power e and we have saved that in r variable. Then you are performing the division of this with r. It means n is equals to, sorry, there, there is this, uh, there is a small mistake, I will correct it. So uh, what you will do that, you will perform n into n and from n into n, you will divide by the value r fine after doing so uh, whatever is the value you obtain you will take its modulus with 10 raised to the power d because d is the number of digits we require in the address so if d is 2 then we will take its modulus with 10 square it means 100 in this case we are taking the same you are returning n square, whatever you have obtained, and then mod this value. So whatever are the correction, I'm just going to make this so that we can test it with the different values. Okay, so the first correction is that 
we are first finding out n into n, then dividing it with r. And after this, whatever we obtain in n, we are taking its mod with 10 raised to the power d. We have taken intentionally it, it as long, long, because when you will square the given number, this number will become very large. So let's test this. We are going to call the function mid square hash. And you're going to test it with the, the two data values, one, two, three, four, and four, five, six, five. For both of these numbers, the table size is 100. Okay, first the table size is passed and then the number, or you can reverse this here itself. So only mid square hash. We need to change the name of the function. So here are the two values that you obtain, uh, 22 and 39. So these are the values that we get as the, as the result of the mid square hash. If you want to test it, we can test it also. So one, two, three, four multiplied with one, two, three, four. So you will, you will discard how many digits? You will discard three digits from the right and 22 will be the address in this case. Why uh, three digits will be discarded? If you are requiring a four digit number, then you will obtain eight digit number. You require two digit address. So eight minus two is six. And when you divide it with two, you get three. So three digit is discarded from the right and two digit address is picked from between. So 22 is the result of the first one. And then four, five, six, five with four, five, six, five. Three digit is discarded from the right and you get 39 as the address. So 22 and 39, let's test it whether it gives the same answer. Yes, you can say that. You can see that 22 and 39 is the answer. So we have discussed about the mid square hash in this function. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the folding hash. Thanks for watching this video.